direct from Albany, New York, it's time for The Media Zone with your hosts, Ed and Dave. Tonight, a look at this week's new film and DVD releases. And the chance to win free movie tickets with the Poster Pairs game. And now your hosts, Ed and Dave! Hello! Welcome to the Media Zone. The big season premiere episode, Dave, on oh. September 18th, the 17th season of the Media Zone. Holy crap. You missed a few seasons. I missed many I wonder, seasons. I wonder how many you missed. Uh, I'd say at least 12. <laughs> you Wasn't left it? not long after we started right. the Media Zone in 95. Right. right. Which is why for you folks at home when we uh, do the email address, it's Media Zone 95. Oh, is that why? That's when we started. It's because Media Zone was taken. And uh, one and two and three and whatever else you. Yeah, but tried. before that, we were screen scenes. We were screen scenes. For many, many years. From 85 oh. to 95. That was only a 10 year series, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there was such a long wait between the first one and the second one. A week, perhaps? <laughs> All we did was change the name. Oh, we, we needed a change, I think. Who, who decided we needed a change? We, this could have been our, almost our 30, what I did. <laughs> I decided, well, there was another show that was screen scenes also. Well, there's another show, Media Zone. It's called TMZ. That's what the TMZ stands for. Yeah, probably. We were ahead of that. Though. Oh, we were. Uh, so here we are, 17th season. As you remember <laughs> on the last episode, the... Uh, the closer from last season, day. Lilac was supposed to make that right. show, but not here yet. No. A week later, she's, she's not here. She's still on the road. So, um, hopefully, you know, she is coming down from Lake George now. Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, she was supposed to clean nice. her apartment. She's moving back home. <laughs> so, it's going to be tough uh, to get her now. But she did say she's coming down uh, no. when she can. You know what I say, Ed? Just keep that get ad the, for Craigslist the, open. Get the ad out. Get it back out there again. We did find the last two on Craigslist and not the Model Mayhem site. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, uh, these models, in quotes, <laughs> don't want to appear on TV. <laughs> and it looks like, to me, a lot of them don't want to do that because there was some heavy airbrushing <laughs> oh. in some of the pictures. Are I you see. sure it's not because they want to be on TV, just not on no, I'm sure they would want to be on TV if they could, Dave. If they could. But because we can't airbrush people out here. <laughs> High death, a model's worst nightmare. Right. We would have to use that uh, Vaseline like Lucy did on the last, <laughs> in her last few years. On that last life with Lucy. Watch me break a hip as I fall off a ladder for your amusement. <laughs> now, wait a minute. That is the character from, uh, what, what was it, yeah, Monsters, Inc.? <laughs> <laughs> All right. The secretary. We got to go scare, get some scares. <sighs> Let's see. Tonight, Dave, we got three films. We do. We have Dread. Uh-huh. Uh, End of Watch. And House and Street. At the end of <laughs> the street. At the end of the street. It's one of those spooky house movies. Ooh. Not to be confused with that spooky house TV series. What, with Hugh Laurie? Yes. Oh, I always wondered why they called it house at the beginning, before I knew that was the doctor's name. Mm. Why his, his name was house. I still don't know what the premise of that show was. Look, I know someone whose last name is Pancake. <laughs> no, you don't. I do. <laughs> I don't know them personally. I've met them. Uh huh. But the last name is Pancake. Huh. So, House is not so unusual. I guess not. I guess there are some odd. Maybe it was shortened from Houseburg. Or Houseman. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's September, but it is a little hot down here. <sighs> I hope my pancake makeup holds up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shall we get into our first Let's film? Let's get into the films here Dread 3D. From Screen Gems, that also brought you the monkeys. Starring Carl Urban, Olivia Thirlby, and Lena Headley. 
The future America is an irradiated wasteland. On its east coast lies Mega City One, a vast, violent metropolis where criminals rule the chaotic streets. The only force of order lies with the urban cops called judges, who possess the combined powers of judge, jury, and instant executioner. Known and feared throughout the city, Dread is the ultimate judge, challenged with ridding the city of its latest scourge, a dangerous drug epidemic that has users of slow-mo experiencing reality at a fraction of its normal speed. A heinous crime calls them to a neighborhood where fellow judges rarely dare to venture, a 200-story vertical slum controlled by prostitute-turned-drug lord Mama and her ruthless clan. When they capture one of the clan's inner circle, Mama overtakes the compound's control center and wages a dirty, vicious war against the judges that prove she will stop at nothing to protect her empire. Ready to die for strong, bloody violence, language, drug use, and some sexual content. Remember this? They did a Judge Dredd movie before, Dave. With Sylvester Stallone. I remember he didn't have the helmet on a lot. Of course he couldn't. He's a big star. Uh, apparently we don't have a star here. Who do we have? Is Carl he? Urban. Is that a star? I don't know. Olivia Thoroughby. <laughs> or anything. And Lena Headley. I, I, have I heard of any of I before? don't know. But sometimes this is what you have to do. You have to get the non-stars, pay them you know, minimal dollars because you're spending your money on the effects. And you want to keep the budget realistic. That way, if your budget is $60 million and you make $100 million, it, you know, it's a big profit. Yes. But if you got guys like Stallone making $8 million for the film, your budget just goes through the roof and you can't have that. That's a big action. I did see The Expendables 2, Dave. Did you? Was it any good? It was entertaining. Was it? And I watched the first one before I went to see that one, and that was better than I remembered, too. Hmm. Of course, it is over the top. Everybody's saying each other's catchphrases, and Chuck Norris is popping up here and there for no apparent reason. Is he using that exercise machine with Christy Brinkley? <laughs> He's using a lot of dye on his beard. And uh, I'm trying to think if we saw the wig. I think he had a hat or something on. But uh, it was... oh, Yeah, he's like 71 years old. He is. I was, I was looking up the cast, and everybody's up there. Sylvester Sloan is 66, I think. Right. And uh, Schwarzenegger's around there. And then they, they peters off <laughs> down the list from there. What about Dolph? Dolph Lundgren's in there. Yeah, he's he's always funny. He's kind of a big goofy guy. Jet Li disappeared in the first uh, ten minutes. He was out of there. Really? Yeah, he must have had a film to do. A real film? <laughs> a real uh, Chinese film, or wherever he works. By the way, the film we're talking about is not the film we just showed you. <laughs> we're talking about <laughs> the Expendables too, Expendables and we're too. reviewing uh, Dread. Yeah. Or previewing Dread. I don't know. I have no interest in that Dread. I, I'm, I didn't I'm, see the first one. I have more interest in going back and watching the, the Sylvester Stallone one, right. which I don't remember that well. But. Wasn't Rob Schneider in that? I th uh, that was uh, the other one, Wesley Snipes, Demolition Man. Demolition Man, okay. Yeah. All right. That was okay, too, that one. Uh, move along, Ed. Move along. Let's Ed. keep the 17th season premiere rolling. <laughs> All I can say is I'm glad this end of watch is, is out because I've seen this trailer for this in the theater for just about everything I've seen this year. <sighs> Going back to the Avengers. 